Hi guys, my name is Rajveer and in this video we are going to see how we can link TIA portal with Ignition SCADA without a PLC. This is on the request of many of the students who were saying how to link the SCADA software with the PLC with the PLC software without having a PLC because I know most of the students don't have a PLC. So there is a way you can link the SCADA software with TIA portal using PLC SIM. Alright, if you're interested, let's see how we can do that. So let's see initially what are the things required. You need a Siemens software TRV13, 14 or 15 installed on your system and you have to make sure your computer has administrative rights. Okay. Then you also need Ignition software which you can download at this website. You need net to plc software which is responsible for the simulation. You can download that at this website and both these softwares are for free. You can download the trial version of Ignition software and net to plc is a free software. So once you have these softwares installed and running in your system, then you proceed to the steps. So let's see what is the first step. The first step is you have to open TIA portal and write an algorithm. Okay. And then you have to configure the security settings of the controller for OPC connection. And you have to start PLC SIM and make, make a static, static check. So let's do that. And I will show you once all the steps one by one. So if you see here, I have this my TIA portal and I've made a demo program. This is my bit M0.0, .0, which is giving signal to Q0.0. And this bit I can simulate from here. This is going off and this is going on. So you have to make an algorithm. You can take any controller. I'm using CPU 1212C ACDC relay, relay module. And I've made this logic and this is running in the simulation. I can show you my simulator is here. So there is no real PLC connected. So that's the IP address of my simulation, which automatically the software assigned. So this is the step one. You have to make sure your simulation is running perfectly fine. Okay, this is the step one. Let's see what are the next step. The step two is you have to install net to plc software. You can do that from the link given it before and you have to run it. And then you have to configure the IP addresses for PLC SIM and network adopter and start the server. So once you install the software, you have to open the file. This is the software. When you download the software, you will get these two directories. Open to the directory bin and then open the software net to PLC SIM. Okay. Now for that, you have to make sure it's already running. I will close it. So go right click here and run as administrator. This is very important. Otherwise, you may not be able to perform the simulation. So once you run this, you will have this window. Now what we need to do is we have to configure the IP addresses. Now you see here, the IP address for PLC simulator is 192.168.0.1. So what you will do here, click on add. And here, this is the name of PLC. You can give any name. This is up to you. I will give Siemens or anything you want. Network IP address. Now this network IP address is the IP address of your network adopter of your computer. Okay, I hope you know what is network adopter. So you can click on this one and it will automatically tell you the IP addresses of your network adopter. So the one which I'm using is this one, Gigabyte Ethernet Controller. So I will choose this one. Okay, you can check which one you have. Or you can also check that in your IP config. If you go to command prompt, click or type IP config. And if you see here your adopter, here it is, IPv4 192.168.1.102. This is same as this one. Okay, so make sure you have this one here. Click OK and click on PLC SIM IP address here, this button, and it will automatically take this IP address from here. So you can you can all you can take this one 192.168.0.1. Click OK. So these two are here and just read this option. If you're using S7300, it's 02. If it's 400, again 02. If it's 1200 or 1500, it's always 01. This is the rag and slot addresses. So I told you I'm using S7-1200, so I will use 01. Click OK. So now you have this uh, settings and configured here in this window. Just click Start Server and this will be start running. That's it. That's the step. So we have configured the PLC, PLC simulator. We have configured net to PLC sim. Now let's see the next step. Now we go to our SCADA software. Our work for PLC SIM is completed. Now here's my SCADA software window. This is the dashboard. I have to 
if you have if you did not if you haven't installed the software you can do it for free and then you have to run the software and then you have to open your local host this will automatically assign if your local host is free then you have to configure the device so you go to the configure and you go to here device and here you have to add the device i will click create new device and i will drag to s7 1200 here I click next and the name of my plc i would like to give siemens and host name is the ip address of now the ip address which will come here this will come network address not the plc sim so the network address will come so i will type oh, 102 this 102 is already here so click create new device and here you can see the status this will this is connected so you have to make sure this is connected Okay, and this will be surely connected if this configure, configurable settings are okay. All right. Now, what is the next step? Our ignition is configured. Next steps, we have to design a screen and check the connection. So you have to open the designer. I will click launch designer. And this will download a file on my window. I can show you here, keep. This is a Java file and you have to make sure you have a Java software installed in your computer. So the default ID and password is admin, username, password is password, click login. And then you have to show the project. So I have already made a project named test. I will open this one. And here I can show you, this is my designer. And that's my window, my main window. There is another design admin located at every home has this resource locked for editing. Oh, maybe some problems with the software. Okay, I can design a new new project. Simulation, create a new project. Okay, so now we have this window, main window. This is our main window. I want to make a button which will actuate, which will actuate M0.0 .0 because we want to check with the SCADA. So just take a button from here, from the components to state toggle button, take it here. Now we just need to make a tag. So go to the tags, click on the tag, right click and go to OPC tag. Okay. Now I also want to tell you one thing before making a tag, you have to make sure your OPC is running here. So if I maximize this, if you see this OPC connection, you have to click here and you have to make a connection here. If it's not made, go to configure and go to the OPC. I need to check OPC server and wait a second here, OPC servers. And this should be connected. And if you are, if you don't have the server, you can create from here. It's, it's not a problem. So this should, the status should be connected, not faulted. And you just click here, click next, next, next. And with the default settings, you can have a server. All right, I will go back. Now we go to this tag and we we'll name it start, start tag and it's a Boolean. You select the OPC server, which you just made in the last step. And here the path of the PLC tag. So the name of PLC was Siemens. This is the name which I took, which I took from here. If you go to your devices, that's the name Siemens. So you have to check check what name you have here. So make sure you put that in, in the bracket and the spit is M0.0, .0, which is MX0.0. .0. X denotes it's a bit, it's a Boolean bit. Click apply, click close and check where's the tag. The tag comes here and this is a good tag, which means connection is fine. You just drag it here. Now the tag is connected. I will click on online. So here is my simulation. And here is the bit. There is no PLC, just the PLC sim is running. And if I click this one, this is not read write. Hold on a second. You have to enable this read write connection. And the tag should be read write as well. And I can click on and you can see this bit is on, which actuates my output and it goes off. So this is, this is working. 
without any PLC. So you can design your Scala projects here now and you can link it with your PLC sim and in case if you have factory IO, this becomes more interesting. In case you have, you have factory IO, you can actually simulate the environment. I will go to the drivers. Now S7 1200 and 1500, that's the software. That's the PLC hardware. Go to configuration, check the IP addresses it should be 192.168.1.102 looks okay click connect so your factory i was connected without the hardware but using hardware driver not plc sim because now we have simulated the hardware so go back here and click on play just to make sure i have connected the conveyor i have and now you can actually simulate most of your things here so I click on on and you can see here the conveyor is running and it goes off. So I think it will be quite interesting if you have TIA portal, factory IO and ignition software installed all together in one system. In this way you can design and simulate industrial control system and you can also monitor it on Scala screen. I think this will be the best option to try. So this was the objective of this video to explain how to link TIA portal with Ignition SCADA software without real hardware via net to plc SIM software. You can subscribe for more interesting videos related to industrial automation. Many more interesting things are coming. So have a nice day. Bye.